To service the valves, begin by removing the four bolts from each valve plug using a 12mm Allen wrench. Using a small flathead screwdriver, tap between the valve plug and manifold. You can then remove the valve plug by hand. Before reinstalling the valve plug, be sure to inspect the o-ring and backup ring for any damage or replace with new parts included in a valve kit. The valve assembly can be removed using a reverse pliers. For best results, reach in between the valve spring retainer and give a slight twist while pulling away from the manifold. The 3560 contains a stack valve assembly which features both the inlet and discharge valves. To inspect the valves, start with placing a flathead screwdriver between the valve retainer and top of the valve and twist. This will create separation between the retainer and seat, which can then be removed. Inspect the valve retainer for any cracks, the spring for proper tension, and the valve for any pitting. To separate the valve seat from the inlet retainer, you can pull apart by hand. Inspect the discharge seat for pitting where the valve rests, as well as the o-ring and backup ring for any damage. To open the inlet valve assembly, place a flathead screwdriver between the valve retainer and top of the valve and twist to create separation from the seat. Check the retainer for wear the spring for proper tension, the valve for pitting or wear, and the valve seat for pitting or wear. To reassemble the valve, take the inlet valve seat, then the valve, then spring. The inlet valve retainer has only one step opposed to the discharge, which has two. Take the discharge valve seat, valve, spring, and retainer and snap together. Replace the o-ring and then set into the manifold and press into place. you will feel it pop into place. Take the valve plug, add lubrication to the O-rings to avoid tearing, and press into place. Before installing the bolts, use anti-seize to reduce the chance of galling, as both surfaces are stainless steel. to specification.